Welcome back to Pete Tong TV, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm here this week to ease and lubricate uh, that move from a kind of detoxing January to a retoxing February. Uh, hot tunes on the show this week come from Roy Xop, uh, Kyla and the Crazy Cousins, Fred Fault, the Filthy Jukes, uh, the Mighty Josh Wink drops in for a chat, and we'll have this week's Bedroom Bedlam chart. First up, this week's video is uh, the latest release from Errol Alkin's fantasy label. Uh, this is Dutch duo uh, Dance Area. Uh, and it's called AA 24 <laughs> Always, 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 anytime, 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 seven, 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 seven,
you know, someone like Laurent Garnier or Carl Cox or, you know, someone techno and then someone house, someone underground, someone mainstream. So it, it's pretty unique. More words of wisdom from Josh Wink in a few moments' time. First though, this week's remix comes from uh, the man with the, uh, the live bass guitar, uh, Mr. Fred Falk. He's done a bit of a number on the Filthy Dukes. The tune is called The Rhythm. 16 rhythm 16 rhythm 16 rhythm 16 rhythm 16 rhythm 16 rhythm She's so lost in 16 rhythm Kill this part, take this thing Trying to take everything And kill this part, take this Fred Falk, yeah, give it some for Fred Falk and uh, a remix of the Filthy Dukes, The Rhythm, and this is this week's number two uh, on the Bedroom Bedroom chart. This is Al Jerry, he's 26 years old and he uh, hails from Algeria, been producing uh, since 2005. The tune is called All About My Life. Number two on this week's Bedroom Bedlam chart, time for something a little uh, out of the box, a little left of centre. It comes from a group that I featured on my In New Music We Trust show a couple of weeks ago. Uh, they are the Crazy Cousins uh, teaming up with Kyla, and this is Do You Mind? Baby, I like your style. Kyla and the Crazy Cousins, a brand new video for Do You Mind. Uh, one of the albums I'm looking forward to hearing this year comes from my favorite uh, Norwegian duo. Uh, they are Royks Up, and as a bit of a preview, here's the first single from it. It's called Happy Up Here.
Happy up here, happy up there, happy up everywhere. I'm just happy to have them back. They are Royxop and that is their brand new single. Right, uh, more interesting conversation uh, with a house legend. Here's Josh Wink. Yeah, February of 2009, uh, I'm going to be releasing my fourth solo album. I don't release too many albums. Basically, I do singles and remixes and focus on over recordings. But uh, we're about to release a new album in a couple of weeks, and we're all very excited um, at the label and myself about releasing this. And to me, it's more like a compilation of older music that I've produced that I've never released. Um, I do this a lot. I, I do a lot of recording, a lot of remixing, but I don't always release everything and I just kind of sit on it and I play it out in DJ sets and they're kind of like my secret weapons uh, that I play and a lot of friends and colleagues or fans come up to me at a gig and they say, oh, what was that black, uh, what was that track you just played? And uh, I'll say, ah, oh, it's something I did a couple of years ago. And so I, I thought about these conversations and I really wanted to release something been a while since I've done uh, an album, so this is a kind of compilation of my music over the years that I've never released. Um, and also it shows the diversity of, of myself and what I want to do uh, as, as a producer. You know, on the album it has a little bit of you know, deep house, uh, it has some acid house, it has some techno, it has tech house, uh, minimal, uh, all different kinds of genres, whatever you want to call it. To me it's just what makes me who I am, and the music that I support, the music that I play, uh, the music that I listen to, it's just all reflective of me and what I do as a producer and as an artist. Yeah, I'm very fortunate with having an independent electronic music label, a dance music label. Uh, started the label in 1994, and you know, 15 years later, later we're still doing our, our thing. It's It's really it's cool. It's so difficult. It's like a labor of love because we don't really make money at doing what we do. It seems like we're in the business to lose money. You know, we still re release records and uh, it seems that uh, record distributors are going out of business and they owe us all this money before they go bankrupt. Or, you know, we release our music digitally and then people are putting it on blog sites and people file steal. And it's, it's very difficult to be able to make a living but it's something that we have passion for. For more information on my new album, When a Banana Was Just a Banana, Ovum Recordings, Ovum Recording Artists, or anything you want to know about Ovum Recordings, make sure to check out the Ovum Recordings website. You could check out my MySpace page at myspace forward slash joshwink, or the new joshwink.com, which actually just launched today. So for all your information, get online, Check us out. Thank you for your time. Many thanks to Josh Wink for dropping by and, uh, well, improving the quality of the show, I'd say. Uh, this is uh, the number one on this week's Bedroom Bedlam chart. This is Connor J. He's 17, he's from Ireland. Uh, he started out as a drummer uh, before progressing into making electronic music. Here it is, it's called Network. Number one on this week's Bedroom Bedroom Chart. Congratulations, we're streaming it in full uh, right now at pitong.tv. Uh, whilst you're there, check out the exclusive section of the site and you could be winning yourself a copy of Sunichi Asawa, uh, his brand new album, and uh, you'll get a listen to a rather splendid mixtape that he's left on the site. Uh, you'll also find out how to join the uh, brand new social network that is Blinko. Sadly, that's all we've got time for uh, on this week's show. From me, Pete Tong, until then, see ya.